Well, coronavirus fears are forcing state lawmakers to think ahead. They really are. You know, leaders working to finish Tennessee's nearly $41 billion budget before their ability to work is potentially impacted by COVID-19. Tracking coronavirus, state capitol reporter Chris Bungard looks at their plans and efforts to get work done during a pandemic. Like everyone, state lawmakers are looking for answers as they try to craft a response to COVID-19. This is a threat, not just to people's health, but also to uh, people's economic well-being. If we were to, say, recess for a couple of weeks or three weeks, we don't know that it won't be worse at the end of that period of time. Appropriating money for a yearly state budget is the only thing the Constitution officially requires of Tennessee lawmakers. The governor has indicated he'll speed up the process so the legislature could adjourn quicker than usual because of COVID-19. And, and we're working hard to get that budget completed as soon as possible. Should the legislature decide to move any faster than uh, originally planned? While potentially speeding up the budget process, more funds will be proposed by the governor to help hospitals, doctors, and people impacted by the coronavirus COVID-19. The lieutenant governor, though, has added a cautionary note for the budget. By speeding it up, we don't want to, uh, we want to make sure we examine the budget fully. Legislative Democrats who were outnumbered at Tennessee's Capitol three to one have questioned Republican Governor Bill Lee's leadership on COVID-19, but they also want a voice. That we are part of the planning, the strategy. In the meantime, hundreds of bills are moving through the committee, but will they pass? So a major question remains for state lawmakers. How much other action will they take once a state budget is passed? Reporting from Nashville, Chris Bungard. Thank you, Chris. Now, at this point, there remain uh, no plans to close the Capitol or other right. state buildings.